Hi there. It's me, Gareth. We're getting off the ship today in Roatan, an island off the coast of Honduras. And we are in Mahogany Bay, which is sort of a, uh, like a private island almost. You see, they got a chairlift to take you to the beach over there. Which costs 14 um, We are in the Caribbean Princess. And we're gonna get our picture taken here. So you get off the ship there, walk down this concrete pier, which looks almost brand new. This hasn't been here very long. I'm not sure exactly how long. And apparently only Carnival products use it. So Princess, Holland America, Costa, Carnival. Anyway, there's a little town. Well, there's a little shopping center right through those trees, I think. So there's the ship. And see, we're coming into the little shopping area. Let's get in their picture. Oh. Tax and duty free. Anyway, so we're going to walk through here. And it looks like they've got liquor and sunscreen and perfume, you know, your duty free stuff. Uh, tequila tasting or rum tasting. I So you have to go through this store to get in. Or to get on the island, I should say. So, Mahogany Bay Roatan, see? All tours this way. So we'll go up around the bend here. It's very uh, lush and tropical. And then when you walk up that road, we'll call it, you're in the shopping area. And here's where tours are meeting. There's the chairlift sign. The beach is off that way. Um, here's information. So there's shops and shops and tours and shops and shops. Maybe we'll walk up here later. Of course, Diamonds International. That's what you came here for, right? So there's an information desk. I asked her some questions. There's the shopping. There's the guy in a hat. And the beach and the uh, chairlifts are off this way. And there is a huge line there. And I'm thinking that's for the chairlift. But I don't know. So there's a bar and a restaurant there. And Magical Flying Beach Chair, that's the chairlift. And that is the line for it, I suppose. If you go through that gate where it says Mahogany Beach Roatan, you can just walk to the beach. Just to recap, that's the line to get on the chairlift, which goes to the beach. We're gonna walk it. We're gonna hoof it. It's less than half a mile. Oh. Breadfruit. Well, somebody sure takes care of this place. And there's the chairlift. Or the magical beach chair. Flying beach chair, whatever they called it. Apparently, the flying beach chair came to a halt. Oh, there it's moving again. So, even a magical flying beach chair has trouble. And this is a nature trail. But watch out for tree roots. Maybe later. And there's a hammock. So there's a magical iguana there. In Key West, those things are this big. Don't bite you, do that. Don't stick your finger in there. Oh, I can stick my finger in. We've been on the, this path for a couple of minutes. Come to a cul-de-sac <laughs> and a restricted area. 
on the other end of the nature trail. And another sign saying Mahogany Beach Roatan, just in case you forgot. Because some people forget. And I think this sign says no weapons and no radioactive materials. Because some people cruise with them, right? And the chairlift has come to a halt again. No wonder the line's so long. Hey, and there's our ship. And be stuck. I guess that's seagrass. <laughs> it looked like fish. <laughs> yeah, there's a fish down there, but hey, there it's moving again. So they rent all sorts of things. Here's your activities. Clamshells, thirty dollars. I read online they were twenty-six, but anyway. I'll pay 30. The chairlift ticket was 15. I read online that they were 14 and if I had bought it, you know, a month ago online, it was 12 from the princess. So, let that be a lesson. Once the cruise began, princess was selling them for 17. But I could have had it for 12. Thank you. So it has one of these. So you get the Mahogany Bay Beach sign with the ship in the background. Beach life, seashells, restrooms. So if you want a restroom, there it is. If you're tired from that walk. Hopefully we're close. <laughs> and so this is the beach. You can lay in the chairs for free. If we want a umbrella or a clamshell or something. Wait a minute, and I, oh that's Toad, yeah. so there's the beach, if you want to rent something, you go up here to beach rental, and I went up the, <laughs> okay, you go up here to beach rental, All right, so there's the current prices, and they're all a little bit higher than people are showing online, but this is a, uh, May of 2023. So we're down to the beach now. I paid for the clamshell. We're going to walk over here and get somebody to set it up for us. Um, there are a lot of people in here. Good thing there's only one ship in port. All right. So then you find one of these guys in that orange long sleeve shirt. Not that orange shirt. He's a waiter orange long sleeve shirt and they set up the clamshell for you thank you very much so here we are in mahogany bay and we're gonna go down and take a little swim and then later we're gonna snorkel and i see people standing way out there but they must be on the reef so i'm hoping they have water shoes and they're not tearing the coral up. But it is um, fine white sand. And the water is nice. Oh, it drops off quickly though. See? It's a little cool. So, but I guess it gets shallower again out here. Let me swim. I can touch the bottom and it's getting steeper. So, but there's so many people now that it's a little murky. Yeah, good luck. GoPro. Hey, here comes Janet. And there's the ship. I hope I didn't have anything in my pockets. So, oh, that's seaweed, not reef so it's seagrass monkey so where the water's light it's sand bottom and where it's dark it's grass I'm gonna to try to give you a picture of it yeah. <laughs> 
Right See what I mean? As the day wears on, it's just getting more and more crowded. I mean, it's not crowded. Imagine if there was two ships here and big ones, you know? This is a medium-sized ship these days. We're on the beach over there, clamshells up in the middle of those yellow umbrellas. And there's a dock down here. We're gonna walk down this dock because we think, hey, look at that log, driftwood. <laughs> we think people are snorkeling over on this side, see? Where it's rocky. Maybe some coral. That's a long pier though. Now, this is the swimming area, right? So we could swim out here, but it's just seagrass and then these rocks. You know, there's a jetty under this pier. <laughs> what is this? Is this is fun. Let's see what we can see.
came back from the reef out there where the umbrella is. Swim out about 50 feet and there's a reef. Uh, up here, there are showers. Look at that. And a lot of them too. They got a warning sign on them. It probably says don't drink. <laughs> oh, it's got a sign though. So, there you go. Quite, well, loud myself. Internet's five dollars all day, so I'll wait till I'm back on the ship. Uh, watch your step here. And this is uh, some restaurants. And this food is not free. They have menus and everything. Uh, beer looks like it's five dollars. Uh, margarita, I think it said seventeen. So they have things like this and stocks with knife ass and dumb ass written on them and people selling stuff and tours and whatnot so this is where i bought the uh rented the clamshell and i guess you get the skyride tickets there um i just wanted to show you that out here they have uh well they have basketball with a pile of dirt in it they have a uh, basketball without they have volleyball nets i'm not sure what this is supposed to be and way out there is a soccer pitch. Of course, it's sand soccer. So I don't know if you've ever played sand soccer. I haven't. Anyway, I'm headed back towards the ship. I'm going to give you a little taste of the sky ride, uh, the magical beach chair. We originally came in, right? The two stores on the sides. And here's a map of um, Rotan. This is Coxon Hole. That's where most cruise ships go. That's where we went last time. 15, 20 years ago. But it does say Skyride over here, so looks like these people are waiting for it. So, Magical Flying Beach Chair entrance. So, just stand here. Well, that's pretty slanted. Oh, that's more like it. I'm recording a 360 at the same time. Ready? Yeah. Bye, thanks. So, hey, Gareth from Port Monkeys here. And we are on the magical flying beach chair in Mahogany Bay in Roatan. And we came on the Caribbean Princess. And there it is. And there's those people, but they're looking down. Anyway, I paid $15 for this ride, so I hope you enjoy it. Oh, what are these people? Oh, I guess this is, oh, this is like a private area, I think. See the cabanas and the little private beach down there. And the lifeguard. So, just so you know, <laughs> Occasionally, this ride stops, like now. And then, uh, and then it goes. So some people can't get on it when it's moving, they have to have it stop. Uh, and it's very slow. But for $15, you get this wristband, and you get to ride it all day, as many times as you want. Hi. If you don't want to pay the $15, there's a walkway from the ship. You walk right up there. There's a shopping center up there, lots of little stores. And there, and then you're at the beach. The beach is right over there, right? There's the uh, Mahogany Beach big letters sign. We stopped again. Now, remember, I'm heading from the beach back to the shopping center. So that would be going back on the ship. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a fish farm of some sort. So right over there in the forest, there's a zip line. Maybe you can see it. 
coming down and it ends up down near the beach there, down at the uh, basketball court, or just ahead of it. Some water toys there. Here, there's somebody on it. See? That was him screaming. Looks like it goes pretty fast. It's pretty long too. I mean, it's that long anyway, right? That's the path in. This is a road. This is like the end. Hi. So, hi, uh, afternoon. So this is the jungly area, and we've come to a stop again. And it's already been about 10 minutes. That's a lot of motorcycles down there. There's the employees ride bikes. There's the walkway. You can see people down on it. And we're coming into the station, looks like. We're almost to the station. There's the little shopping town. And I just noticed we all have a piece of rope, some sort of safety device, I think. So they do have misters down there, but the line was, you know, way out into town there this morning. It doesn't look like there's any line now. I have to ask them if I can uh, ride back. Remember, I'm just here for you. Hey, senor. I want to ride back. Can I just stay on? Sure, man. It's up to you. Yeah. You want to be a pillow, you can stay down and sleep. Nope. <laughs> I, just, right, I, some, right? I just came for the ride. Right. He had me lift my feet up so I don't right. grind them on the ground here. So normally, I would lift this bar up and uh, walk off of here right now. And when you get on, you stand on those uh, footprints. But I'm gonna go around and around. That's like a Disneyland ride, huh? Whoa, it's so fast. <laughs> misters. I'm a gorilla in the misters. Or monkey in the mist. Muchas gracias. And here we are going back. You bet. All day. $15. See you in the next port. So, look at how pretty it is out here. Of course, it's got this big dark cloud that wants to rain. Let's see, reef. This dark area is seagrass. I crawled through a bunch of it today. I guess where the airport is. Guess where the big letters are. Smile. Well, we're almost done. These people are still here in this ring circle. And those people are in that circle. That water doesn't look that great, right? I know this is like some private area where we paid again over here. Better lounge chairs, definitely. That water is not good. So our ride is coming to an end. And since I only bought one ticket, we're going to have to walk back. I, remember, the wristband's good for all day, many times as I want to ride. But we only bought one, so Janet doesn't have one. Because she said she didn't want to go for the ride. So, anyway, $15 all day. So he raises the bar, I jump off right here, right? Wow, just like that. Exit. Get off of there. And it's not very hard, and they'll stop it if you ask them to. And the beach is right here. So, what could be more convenient? And like I said, it's not really that crowded. There was a lot more people here a couple hours ago. But it's getting on to 2 o'clock. Of course, we're here till 6.30. But 
people are going back on the ship and eating. And maybe they're coming back, maybe they're not. See, Tito, Pequeno, Nipoco. Mostly the bad words from being a teacher. Well, Janet said, take the sky ride back. All right, guys. But carry all the luggage. One, two, three. Boo. <laughs> Carried the bags. So she took off walking. My guess is she's going to get there before I do. Because you could walk here a lot faster than you can ride. Because this thing keeps stopping. But. That was our day in Mahogany Bay, and I liked it. I like this place. It's, um, you know, they got that beach, white sand. The water's fairly clear, other than the stirred up sand. They have this private area, which I didn't go to, but I don't like their beach as well. I went out to take a picture of the ship back there, and I leaned on that green inflated thing, the wall, and I got yelled at. <laughs> so, so don't lean on it. But yes, enjoy your day here. Enjoy your day here. Um, but now it's time to get back on the ship. It's Janet. I told you she'd get here first. These things are not fast and they stop all the time. And it's only a half a mile. So this is going to conclude our day in Roatan and I'm just going to give you there's restrooms up there just a little tour of the shopping area just so you can see it and know what to expect we're carrying heavy bags so this is going to be quick um, i think there's a, a a local band playing down there and then there's loud music coming from some of the bars anyway so it's all the Caribbean stores you're used to expect to see and then some people selling local handicrafts like hummingbirds that says uh, $15 this is a big empty building maybe this is where the tours come and go from I don't know and there's that pretty building and a craft market and Harley Davidson of Roatan this is called crazy ice gelato so let's walk into the craft market real quick oh look at this seahorse made out of junk I think junk ocean trash collected from beach cleanups Seahorse has shark teeth. Or should I say shark teeth? Anyway, this is not very deep. In fact, it's just these places on the surface. It doesn't go back very far. Hey, money. See? That's the end of it right there. So, for example, From cake, a hundred and fifty per from cake, a rum cake, a rum cake, the kind that Tortuga man bake, Roa tan man bake, a pharmacy, a souvenir shop, a, another souvenir shop, Harley shop. <laughs> pretty and it looks like you know you're in the Caribbean but it was all built as a tourist trap right I mean this none of this was here 10 years ago or so this was all jungle I think I see monkeys though <laughs> okay whatever coffee place. I got 
like I said, Kerry Loa and Del Sol, and these guys playing the drums. And this rat path, road, path, back to the ship. From Mahogany Bay on Roatan in Honduras. I'm Garrett. I'm Janet.